In this video, we talk about conditional statements in R, and those statements are if, else if, and else. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, if, else if, and else are considered conditional statements because based off of whatever conditions we set up, a uh, certain code will run or not run if you know it meets those particular conditions. And if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. When we go through these examples, it'll make perfect sense and you'll understand it. It's a simple concept and it, it's real easy to, to get going. So let's let's just do it. So let's go ahead and make up a an if else statement or a conditional statement that tells us whether or not we want to go ahead and buy stock. Okay, so simple enough. So we'll just say stock price and we're going to set it to $30. So we have our variable stock price 30. And then let's go ahead and do our first if. So if stock price is greater than, let's say $50, we want to do what? And we'll go do what? And we'll set this variable for don't buy. So if the stock price is over $50, we don't want to buy. And at the end, I wanna go ahead and print out my do what. So we got do what here. So let's go ahead and run this real quick and see what happens. So what happened was I got an error because do what was not found. And so basically the reason it was not found is because my stock price is $30. When I hit this if statement, my stock price was you know less than 50. So this was false, right? So it skipped over this block of code here and it went down to to the do what area where it printed out nothing because there's nothing to print out because the variable wasn't set and we ran into this error error message. So basically we need to go ahead and set something up to catch anything that's under the $50 mark, right? So a great way to do that, of course, would be to use the S else statement. So we do else squirrely bracket and then we say do what? And we'll just say buy. So basically, if it's greater than 50, we don't buy. Otherwise, so anything less than 50, uh, we go ahead and buy, right? So let's go ahead and select this whole chunk of code, run it again, and we see down here in the console, it says to buy the stock. So awesome, that seems to be working. Let me go ahead and just set it to $100 stock, select all the code, run it, and we get don't buy. So cool, that seemed to work. What if I did like a negative number? Do I think it'll work? It says buy. So basically, yeah, anything less than, you know, 50, of course, is going to trigger the else statement and it's going to tell us to buy. So now let's say we want to go ahead and add another scenario in here where if the price is between 20 and $50, we want to we want to do run a different block of code. So a great way to do that is with the else if statement. So we'll make a space here and do else if and we'll go ahead and set up our condition here. So else if stock price is greater than 20, then do what? Do what? We want to go ahead and buy. And then I'm gonna move the else statement back up here so it's all nice, neat, and in a row. And I'll do my else statement as a buy more. So now let's go ahead and talk about this block of code right here, the if, else if, and else situation, and talk about how it's gonna go ahead and execute. So it's gonna come to this first condition. And basically, if any conditions are true in this entire series of if, else if, and else, the first time it's true, it's gonna go ahead and execute that code, and then it's gonna be done. So it'll be execute this code, and then it'll jump out of this whole block of code and I'll jump down here to line 10, nothing on line 10, so then I'll come down to line 11. So basically, anytime a condition's true, it, it runs that chunk of code and then that's it. So this if statement is checking if the price is over 50 and if it is, we assign do what, the variable do what as the value don't buy. Now otherwise, it comes down here to else if the stock price is greater than 20, then do what? We wanna go ahead and buy. And now basically what this is doing is creating a range, right? So if it's greater than 50, it's gonna do don't buy, and then you know it runs that code and that's it. Uh, but if it's less than 50, then it comes down here and it sees if it's less than or greater than 20. And if it's greater than 20, it goes ahead and runs that code, but it's gonna be less than 50, right? Because if it was greater than 50, it would have ran up here. Hopefully that's making some sense. So if the stock price is greater than 20, but less than 50, we go ahead and buy. Otherwise we want to buy more, right? So that, that's what should happen. Let's go ahead and set our stock price back to 30, select all our code here and run it real quick. 
and we see that the buy triggered, right? Because our price is between 20 and $50 and that resulted in buy. So just for the sake of example, let's go ahead and set it for $70, run the whole thing, don't buy, cool. And then let's set it for $1 and run it and we get buy more. So it looks like our entire chunk of code right here is working and working correctly. Now, also you can have multiple else if statements if you want to. So you just come on in here and we do else if, and we'll say stock price is greater than 10 and do what? And we'll just say buy 2x and I need to make sure that I sign my variable correctly. So buy 2x and then we could do else, do what? And we'll just say buy 3x. Okay, so basically, you know, it's a tiered system. If it's over 50, we don't buy. However, we start, you know, coming down, uh, we buy more and more and more, right? So let's just set it to, I don't know, $15. And we go ahead and select it and run it all. We set the do what variable to buy 2x, and then we print that out, and we see down here buy 2x. So you can have, you know, as many else if statements in this block of code as is necessary. But this block of code always starts with an if statement. So you got to start with the if statement and a good rule is to have an else statement so it's your catch-all basically so if it doesn't fire off in the if statement or any of the else if statements well you catch it in the else statement otherwise you could run into an error like we saw early on when I had no else statement right so hopefully that's all making some sense now I do want to point out that you can use like and and or uh, when you're doing your conditions right here so let's say for example that we want to not buy the stock if it's $13. Like $13 is bad luck. Uh, every time we buy a stock that's $13, it goes down to $0 and we lose all our money. So we could go ahead and set up another condition up here. So using the or, which is a pipe right here, just one single pipe line, whatever you want to call it. And we could say stock price is equal to 13. Right, so basically this first if statement is gonna check if the stock price is greater than 50, in which case we don't buy, or if the stock price is 13, it's gonna go ahead and run this as don't buy. So let's go ahead and set it to 13, select it all, run it, and we see don't buy. So using the or statement is one way to have multiple conditions. Another thing you can do is an and statement. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's just say day and we'll go with fry. Friday. Okay, so we have another variable up here. So let's say if the stock price is $13 and the day is Friday, well, that's really bad luck. So we definitely don't want to buy stock if it meet, meets those conditions. So what I'll go ahead and do is throw a, an and sign in here. And it's just one and sign and throw that in there and say day equals to Friday. And what I want to go ahead and do is wrap this in parentheses. So that way uh, R knows that this is together. So basically it's gonna check if the stock price is over $50 or the stock price is $13 and the day is Friday, right? So if I run this real quick, we should get a don't buy. We get a don't buy, but let's say that, you know, it's only Thursday. So it's set the day to Thursday, but it's still $13. So we got $13, but the day is Thursday, so we should come down here to, what, buy 2x, right? So that's what we should see uh, based off of my conditions, and that's exactly what I got, right? Because the stock price is not over 50, so false. Um, stock price is equal to 13, so that's true, uh, but the day is not equal to Friday, so that makes this whole statement here false, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you. So basically this whole if statement is false, okay? So come down here, check the stock price. Is it greater than 20? No, it's 13. So that is false. So we move on to the next line. Stock price greater than 10, that is true. That's why we set do what to buy 2x. And then we jumped out of this block of code now because we were true. And we jumped down here to the do what, and we printed it out as buy 2x. All right, so as I was editing this, I realized I probably should have shown you that you can also do nested if, else if, else statements or conditional statements. So I'll show you that real quick as well. So let's come on down here to our stock price is greater than 20, but you know, less than 50 area. And we can go ahead and start a new conditional block of code. So we start with an if, if statement, um, just like we normally would. So if, 
and we'll do day in this instance. Day is equal to Friday. Then do what could be by like crazy, right? And then I'll come down here and throw in an else statement real quick. But you could throw in else, else if, etc. Just for time's sake, I'm just gonna leave one else statement. Do what by. So we'll just do a regular by if it's not Friday. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this do what out of here. So now I have a nested if else conditional statement block right here that'll fire off if the stock price is essentially between 20 and 50. So let's go ahead and you know make it 25. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run this whole block of code and let's see what pops up the other end. So we get buy out the other end and that's because the date is Thursday, it's not Friday. So we went to this else area and we went to buy, right? Now if I change it to Friday and I run the whole thing, we get buy like crazy, right? Because the price is greater than 20, but you know less than 50 and the date is equal to Friday. So we get buy like crazy, so we run that and then you know we print it down here and so on. So I just wanted to show you that real quick that you can also nest these if else uh, else if statements if you want to. So you can get really, really sophisticated if you really want to. And just remember they always start with that if statement. So there you go. So that's how the if else if and else statements work. Pretty simple to understand, but hopefully you can see how powerful they are. You know, you can pick basically, you know, choose your own adventure of your code and what you want to run and how you want to run it. And you can do all sorts of stuff using these ands, the ors, the parentheses, else ifs, like, you know, there's a ton of different things you can go ahead and do. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.